Hi there Adventures. Today we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install Rhino Rex T-slots for the Roto Pax mount. We're showing it off today on the Pioneer platform. And no longer are Roto Packs just mounted on the back of Jeeps. With accessories like this, you can put it on just about every vehicle, so no matter where you go, you can bring any of the liquids that you need with you, whether it be water so you can stay hydrated, or maybe fuel so you can go that extra distance. Our customers mounted his on his platform located on top of his camper. And this is nice because he has clean water available to him no matter where he goes. You always want to make sure you've got extra clean water. And a lot of times when you're out adventuring, sometimes this is your whole shower right here. And I actually kind of like the way it's mounted here at the back of the trailer. The edge here, you could almost put a little spigot on here and you could wash yourself off right here at the back if you're out in the woods. This T-slot kit is designed to work with Rhino Rex T-slot accessories such as the Pioneer platform that we're showing off today. You'll receive four T-nuts in your kit so you can mount two Rotopax mounts with that. This is one of the easiest ways to get your Rotopax mounted up on your vehicle since you can just slide it in. You get the most flexibility of what positions you want to put it in as well. We'll begin our installation by taking our Rotopax mount and the hardware that comes included with our mount kit here. The mount kit is going to come with enough parts for two Rotopax mounts. We'll start by taking the hardware that comes included with the kit. We're going to slide a lock washer on it, then follow that up with a flat washer. We can then take this and we're going to drop it down through the round hole in the Rotopax mount. This is going to thread then onto one of the slots. It's going to slide into your rack here. You can see that there's some notches up on top. We want those facing up because it's going to grab. So we're just going to thread that on there and just need it on there a couple of turns. We want it to be loose for now. We're going to repeat that here for the other hole. We can then take our mount and put it in whichever slot we desire. We're going to be putting ours close to the back here so we can easily climb up our ladder and get to it when we need it. It's just going to slide in. We'll slide it down to roughly the position that we're wanting to mount it at and then we'll use the included tool to tighten it down. You can see these are tamper-proof bolts that it comes included with, so you don't have to worry about anybody just coming up here and taking your bolt suits and taking it. They're gonna need a special tool similar to this to do so. And then just snug it down. Sometimes it's easier to actually take out the Rotopex piece from the top so it doesn't interfere with the, the tool that comes included with it. So we're just gonna unthread this all the way. So now that we've got that out of our way and we've got our mount in the location we want it to be in, we're just going to use the included tool to snug these down. And this tool that it comes included with is actually also a torquing device. If we look at the handle, you can see here that it's got a gentle curve to it, and there's a number written on it. When you're putting force on this and it bends completely straight, that indicates that you are at the appropriate torque for your mount. So we can see it there, we're turning, and it goes straight. That's plenty tight. We'll do the same thing with the other one. I like to go back and forth with them just to make sure it doesn't move and stuff when I'm tightening them down. Now that we've got that installed, we're going to take our Rotopex and we're going to put it into position, slide it over our mount, push it down. They are a snug fit. And then we can just tighten the top piece back down. I just want to show you the top of the mount here. The Rotopex mount, it doesn't come included with your kit. This is a separate mount you need to buy. These T-slots is what comes in your kit, but these little divots here will line up with these to lock it in place. And that completes our look at Rhino Rex T-slot mounts for the Rotopax mount. 